The first ever Deep End event. An event giving out the best prizes to the best shooters. This event is basically identical to Ruffles, giving out a four point bonus for every four pointer made and handing out more and more my points for stats and fours. All in a four hour race to top five in the world to win it all. Now I do have experience in this event considering I have won Ruffles in 2K19, 2K20, 2K21, 2k22 and 2k23 but we will have some obstacles to overcome with everyone guarding that four point line other teams holding ball on us to stall time and 2k turning error codes into ban hammers we knew it wouldn't be easy so make sure to subscribe drop a like and let's get in to attempt number one what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another banger and as you can see i am on my original one of my original 6-6 builds for this deep end event for my first attempt it has a 92 3 92 ball handle some decent defensive stats basically no finishing but this build is going to have silver limitless range and i know what you're thinking is that going to be enough for the four point line and i didn't know at the time i wasn't sure but this was the highest limitless range badge build i had so as you can see I went into the deep end event, it started, and for the first time I looked at the rewards, I was like, oh my god, unlimited jump shot boost finally, which is one of the boosts I'm missing. You get an exclusive blue jersey, the first exclusive arm sleeve as well, also blue, so there's exclusive clothing and jump shot boost. You see, this is the lineup we're running. I'm running with a seven foot center with Chad, um, a lockdown with Reprexual, and then solo on his LeBron build, and we're getting in straight into game number one, okay? Will my 92 three-pointer be enough will i be able to win on guard we're about to find out right so first play into the first game i'm like okay i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, that's a bad shot i was like uh, i meant to take a scooper layup it's all good we're gonna try to get some fours i wasn't sure if there was a four point bonus yet i end up hitting chad for the assist trying to build some takeover because once again i wasn't sure if i'd be able to shoot fours with silver limitless but you're gonna see this gameplay I was definitely been able to do it. So we get two assists off rip. I'm like halfway to takeover. So I'm building takeover, probably build some green machine too. I pull up on the line, shoot it, and it's a two. Now in old ruffles, by the way, that would be a four. On Jimmy Bones. Guess that kid's making that in a billion years, literally. It's never going in ever. Hit the big dog for the four. Guess that's not in. I don't know how I made that. <laughs> so at first, like, I, I wasn't even sure I was making some of these shots, but I was actually shooting super good in this Ruffles deep end event, whatever you want to call it, because it's basically Ruffles just without them promoting Ruffles. It's the deep end of it, obviously, right? So yeah, in past Ruffles, if you shoot on the line, it's a four, right? But look at that's my first four pointer right there. The video going crazy. Now I got heat check and sharp take over. But this year, the line's a lot thinner, so you have to be behind the line. And sometimes my Tracy McGrady based jump shot, it would put me on the line. So right here, this dude's jumping at me. And look at me, I'm grading a 48% four pointer in my first game i'm going crazy solo's telling me to shoot that i'm like i don't know can i shoot that i'm like okay let's shoot it and look at, i'm shooting from deep like multiple steps outside of the four point line you see i'm getting to 18.3 thousand in my first game and i'm already into the top 10 after my first game in the deep end event so i'm like okay bet we're about to lock in let me find out that your boys about to win this event into game number two though we're playing some goat tiers okay we're already playing some good players in this event and it's just the second game on so i'm like okay it's time to lock in let's continue and bring that same energy from the last game where we got like 18 000 my points and by the way i was getting like 18 to 20k a game so which is good but i also realized you know we're gonna need to try to get more fours but look at this i made a 100 percent very early layup what was that 2k oh my i mean 2k is on my side right now so i'm already knowing i'm like okay, i'm making 100 very early layups i mean that was just lucky it rolled in it wasn't really supposed to go in but hey i'll take it right so i got two points get my takeover up uh probably should have shot that mid range right there to get some green machine but i'm like okay we're gonna try to get some fours early on i dot solo in the corner though to get an assist he misses chad with the rebound he's gonna kick it out to me and what 2k what was that my center has like a 97 pass act and it's throwing me out of bounds. I'm like, okay, whatever. We got to get these games fast. So I'm working around the screen, shooting the four. That's a green. Come on. We're locked in. I'm dancing around the four point line, getting fours up, trying to get more for the four point bonus, trying to get more for the my points to try to hawk this top five in this event. I pull up for the mini at the end of the shot clock right there. 
Hey, that was an 11%. We're making contestants out here. I'm really tapped in right now. I'm locked in. I'm trying to win this deep end event. It's one of the only boosts I don't have is jump shot boost. And jump shot boost is probably the best boost. So as you could imagine, a lot of people were super locked in this event. But look at our defense. We're playing great defense. One second left. That should dude shoots a terrible shot. That's going to end up being our ball. And I got heat check right now. I'm going to be pulling up, shooting the four. And they're both of their faces. Oh, my God. A heavily contested shot. Look at that. And it was a four-pointer. Yo, I'm going crazy. Your boy is in his bag officially. 12 to 6. I got all 12 points. And like I said, look at it. It's like pulling me in with the Tracy McGrady base. I accidentally shoot a two right there. Get the ball right here. I'm shooting from deep. I mean, what I ended up realizing in this event that I didn't realize early on is that once you green like one shot or once you really get the timing down from deep, you can shoot from super far in this event. So as you can see, I'm sixth place right now after two games. And even especially when my center gets takeover, like when the center has play take and you have sharp take, you can actually shoot from like the deep end logo. Like you can shoot from super deep. When you get the green machine going, the takeover's going, it's hella good. But you see, Solo misses wide open. I'm missing wide open, but luckily, we have a seven-foot center on our team snagging the board. Solo misses open again. I'm like, yo, hit me. I'm going to green this four. And look at, I was behind the line, and then the Tracy McGrady jump shot pulls me in. This is what I'm talking about. Like, hey, my feet were set behind the line, but the, the jump shot pushes me forward. So, unluckily, that's only going to be a two-pointer, which is going to cost us. Four-point bonus is going to help us out in this event and right here. I shoot another two. Like, I'm making big mistakes right now. You don't want to shoot twos in this event if you want to get top five. You got to get behind that line. So now I'm cherry picking, like, because we need to end these games fast, right? So we're playing bums right here. This dude on the other team's AFK, it's not really a reason to me play defense. Plus, a lot of these opponents, are they going to have limitless range on a high level? Probably not. Are they going to be able to shoot from the four point? These dudes can't even shoot from the three point line of the park. So are they going to shoot from the four? Probably not. But look at me. Absolutely cooking up this center. He's jumping. I got heat shake. Where is he going? I'm shooting over those. That's another green. 12 to zero to start this game. We're ending this game super fast. I don't know how that one dude hasn't been kicked out. Like he is still AFK. And then I get another two. Like, yo, I was really getting frustrated with me getting twos in this event instead of fours. But with Jamal Murray behind the back, get another four pointer right there. You guys see I have 18 points and my team knows I'm trying to win this event. Like we know the center can win and the guard can win. But you see this dude jumping at me. I'm going to shoot the fadeaway four. Bang, bang. We're locked in and I'm ninth place. But ninth place is not going to be enough after three games. Like after the four hours, we have to be in the top five. If you are not in the top five, then you're basically last at that point. So we get into game three. I'm getting a little scooper just to get a green in, get some takeover going. Now I'm dancing around ankle breaker over those for the four pointer. Yo, I'm locked in. Do y'all not see me going crazy? Like imagine if I had gold limitless range or hall of fame limitless range. You see, I hit another four to end that game right there. And now I am sixth place with almost 30 minutes into the event. So we're looking to sneak back in to that top five, right? So getting into the fifth game right here, you see I'm clearly cherry picking. The other team can't even score on a 3v4. We gotta end these games super fast. So I'm cherry picking, shooting the fours on the fast break. I hit a four right there and take over. I'm trying to dex around the four point line. I hit another four off the backboard right there. And this 92 three pointer is going crazy, okay? Look at fade away, catch and shoot. That's green, that's another four. I'm getting fours all over the place. You get a four, I get a four, everyone gets a four. I'm at the logo with heat check at Charte, and that is green. I'm shooting from anywhere. They did say the best shooters will win this event, and now I'm fourth place. I might be the best shooter, so I deserve this event, but we're gonna get into some random clips because I ended up playing out this server all four hours, and what I ended up realizing was we should have been getting a lot more fours. I was getting a lot of twos and that was affecting me, right? But not only that, the 92 three pointer. Oh my, if I had Hall of Fame limitless range, it would have been so much easier. I would have been able to shoot at a higher percentage, been able to shoot more deeper shots quicker into the game and not have to take really any twos at all. And that was costing me, was really the build. Okay, you see, I'm shooting contestants. I'm still going crazy though, right? Like we're winning games, we're locked in. We are up there on the leaderboards, but we ended up not being up there far enough. Because as you're going to see, 
after a couple of these clips right here i mean look at this these dudes are locked in it's 16 to 16 this lockdown's all over me i shoot a bad shot right there chad gets the board but your boy is just always looking for a four pointer and it doesn't matter who's really guarding me i'm gonna get that four pointer y'all see saw me shooting contested earlier i shouldn't contest it over the lockdown yeah, we ended up getting like these error codes. Look at, I mean, look at how the buggy the event was for me on this first attempt. Like not only was my build just not the right build, but look at this. Like where even am I right now? I got an error code and it's putting me in like a walk around. I, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm looking down a floor below. It's saying need eight players. This is a matchmaking event. What, what even is that over there? Like, I don't know. 2K just didn't want me to win this first server for whatever reason. Uh, I ended up getting dashboarded. I had to reload the game. And then you know how like they say like quitting games isn't like sportsmanship. They hit me with one of those. So I got banned for 30 minutes randomly when I loaded up my next game. So I couldn't even compete in the event and I ended up finishing 14th place. I, all that stuff that was going on, the error codes, getting glitched out of games, getting banned for 30 minutes, I still finished 14th place but obviously that's not gonna be good enough we have to place top five so we have plenty of attempts to try to win this event but attempt number one was a failure but going into attempt number two you can see i'm on the center build the seven foot three monster shack build whatever you want to call it seven three 97 pass sack with my boost 99 offensive rebound it was time i was gonna play on center pick up a team try to get as many assists rebounds and four pointers to my guard as possible and i was going to try to sneak in that top five so as you can see the event just started it's time to rock and roll okay i got 14th place in the first server it's time to get top five you see i got swags on popper eight one on um a popper as well he's like a lock shooter he can shoot the four but he also has defense and then we got cme on guard okay so first game on it's time to go we gotta end games super fast. And now that I have a guard that has Hall of Fame limitless range and a 99 three-pointer, yes, my guard, he's already missing open. Like, bro, is this dude a worse shooter than me? What? Okay, I was about to say, I, thought, I didn't think he was gonna miss both of them to start the, 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 the server. But anyways, yeah, this dude had a 99 three-pointer. He's missing right now, but he's taking bad shots. I got Hall of Fame dimer or gold dime or something like that he has 99 three with hall of fame limitless range i got all these crazy passing badges and every time i activate takeover i'm gonna activate play take he's gonna activate sharp take he's also rise affiliation so he does get heat check so every third grain he has a massive boost to his green window so this was like the ultimate ruffles lineup we got two defenders that are kind of baiting the offense to shoot bad shots like that one right there i get the rebound i'm gonna chuck it down to a guy with a 99 three-pointer with also the best Best jump shot in the game patty mills base which like is very hard to contest you're gonna see a lot of the shots my guard shoots in this video it's gonna look like he's contested but it's gonna or contested but it's gonna say he's open because that patty mills but after one game a five minute game i'm in fifth place with twenty thousand my points so we're already off to a better start so getting into game two you're gonna see really what we're looking for so the defender we wanted to have swags on the left eight one on the right guarding kind of the wings in the corner so we don't really want them to attempt any twos because as you can see it's just a four or a two we want the other teams especially the bad teams to walk up attempt to shoot a four and most likely or not, they're going to miss it. Like this right here. This dude's just way too deep. He has like an 83-pointer. We knew that from checking their stats. That was very important checking their stats. Look at Swag setting the off ball. And I'm just going to throw it down with Gold Dimer. And he's going to shoot what most of the time is going to be an open shot on the fast break because he's cherry picking. And also, my pass is going to get there super fast because I have a 97 pass sack. And then the Gold Dimer boosted the heat checks, the takeovers. Now I have play take the catch and shoot badge, the limitless range badge, the claymore, like it's just all combining, especially green machine into like a huge boost to my guards jump shot, right? And a chance of greening a shot, but you see I'm throwing turnovers, but look at, look at our defense. Our defense's strategy was literally just to try to make them shoot long fours and it was working. I mean, they're missing most of the, you see they have two points and we're just leaving them every single time. And I'm just gonna grab the rebound, chuck it down to the guard and look at, He's wide open. I mean, that's another. Oh, okay, he's not open right there, but he misses that because they got back in time. But look at, I'm going to hit him back. He's going to shoot a wide open fade. And okay, he missed it again. But y'all get it. He's getting open every single time. So look at this. This dude's never going to make that shot. What is his three-pointer? Probably not good enough to shoot from that deep with no take and no nothing in his takeover. And then, yeah, my guard is just trolling. I don't know what he's shooting. This game should have ended way faster. 
but y'all get our method. This is what we were gonna try to accomplish every single game for the four hours. Now, right here, it's not throwing him out, but he ends up shooting an open four and we get out of that game and we're joining invites too. So every time the game is over, we join the event center and get right back into a game because that's faster than just waiting through the menus and getting your VC, getting your my points, et cetera, et cetera. So right here, like we said, we're playing like a two one zone almost, if that's how you want to look at it. We don't want to give up easy corner shots. We don't want to give up easy two pointers, no layups, no dunks. We want the other team to shoot fours, especially if they're not good. And then that leads to an open shot. All right, we're, for, we're, we're I'm, I'm two. How I'm am two. I, bro, I'm literally four. I'm two. I'm fifth. How Yo, we're all top five. We are all top five. And you can see our reaction was crazy. Like our whole team was top five of the couple, of first couple games. Obviously that wasn't gonna last because the people that are getting a lot of the stats is gonna be me on center. And then of course our guard CME on point guard shooting all the shots, right? So we gotta have another game right there. Low back in the event start. Look at, I'm third place. And our guard is first place. Like we are locked in. We're finishing games super fast. We hop right back into another game. We're back in our two one zone. Look at, he walks up, stares at a four pointer, shoots it. Doesn't even make it because his three pointer is not high enough to shoot from that deep. We got a 99 three pointer though. We're gonna make that every time. But getting into the next game after being second place right here, you're gonna see, we're gonna run into a familiar face from our 126 game win streak video. And just take a listen to what I had to say when I said kid, isn't that kid that holds ball? I don't know who the that is. That kid pulled up on my like 120 game win streak and started holding ball and trying to glitch the court. So if you guys don't know who that is, if you watched my 126 game win streak, this guy pulled up on like a post score, was like holding ball, trying to like glitch our court, basically just trying to like end our streak in a without beating us kind of thing. So we knew this dude was kind of weird, like so we knew we had a lock in we were like okay he might hold ball and it's not a good start cme missing wide open shooting an early open to start the, like we can't have that we gotta score our points but after the first possession it looks like they're trying to beat us but they shoot a late cme's cherry picking i throw it down to him and he misses wide open again it's like yo bro you gotta hit these shots like we can't be missing against good teams like this okay but he shoots we play good defense right there we leave this dude open for a four we knew he didn't have a high enough limitless range so he ends up missing that we throw it to cme he gets wide open off the pull up dribble pull up shot gets a four to go right there so we're up four to zero and this team's still trying to score so it's like okay maybe they're not gonna hold ball he makes a mid-range right there because there is no three then he shoots from super deep misses that so now it's eight to two and after this cherry picked four pointer now we're up 12 to two and then they start realizing they're not gonna win this game. So this dude, like his weirdo tendencies are, starts holding ball. Cause he knows, we're, he sees us on the top of the leaderboards. So he's trying to, and he knows we want to end games fast to stay on the top of those leaderboards. So he ends up trying to hold ball, trying to waste as much time as possible to make it more difficult for us to get out of this game fast to try to avoid us from winning this event, okay? Just some weird stuff that's gonna happen. And by the way, this is not the first time that someone's gonna hold ball on us. It's just a weird thing to do. It's just like, you're not gonna get anything out of it. What's what's the point? What did I do to you type of thing? Like, it's just not something you should do unless some, like, unless there's a re like, there's no reason for them to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have a reason to do this. So it's like, okay whatever we're just gonna have to deal with it we just gotta get out of this game okay it is what it is we can't really we gotta control what we can control so i throw it back to cme he's getting triple teamed right now so i'm like all right should we just throw it to eight one like cme is trying to win the event but we might just hit eight one right here so eight one tries to get behind the four he doesn't get behind it so he bails out of it hits me back i'm like okay i'll hit you he shoots the four misses i get the rebound i'm like all right i'm just gonna hit cme trying to get him something i'm not trying to also avoid a three second violation i hit cm or eight one back and he accidentally shoots the two because he has that Tracy McGrady base that keeps pulling you in for a forward corner, just like it was on my point guard build. And what you know, next possession, they're holding ball again, just like they have been since the score was literally like what, 12 or eight to two. It's wasting a lot of time, but we were like, okay, we just got to avoid fouling. We got to make sure we get the rebound and we got to make sure we score when we do get the ball. So I throw it back to CME. He's getting double teamed. It's just, we could take a two, but we want our four point bonus. He gets kind of open off that. And well, that wasn't open. I mean, see that shot did not look open, but that Patty Mills jump shot, I'm telling y'all, if you're a six, four under, you got to use it. You're just, you're just going to get open. But we dropped the fifth place after they were holding ball on us. And then we get into another game, and thank God we did not get comp this game. Because if we got comp, it would have really slowed down, but we got some bums. So this was going to be a quick game, right? They start triple team and CME. That's play take. That's green. Game over. Fifth place still. We are 30 minutes into the event, 
and we are still top five. Now, fifth place is like very risky. Like that's one spot off of not getting the jump shot boost, not getting the rewards and all that. So we got to try to move up the ranks as much as we can before that four hour timer runs out. So you see, I got play take, CME got sharp take, and I feel like a lot of people be forgetting how overpowered some stuff like that is and like special delivery is. Like play take plus sharp take is insane on this game. And I got like, you're gonna see some crazy clips in this video. Like you can shoot from so deep with that, especially with your green machine going like, that's why I kept popping play take because I knew I was gonna get the rebound regardless. I don't need defense to take, right? As he misses a bad shot right there. I don't need defense to take. I'm going to get the rebound. I have a 99 rebound. I have Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I'm seven foot three with max wingspan. No one's really even going to fight me on the boards most of the games anyways. So I may as well just pop play take every time. And that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to see me do throughout this video. And like, it's going to help us get points up faster right there. So after that game, we're in fourth place now. We're about 40 minutes into the event. And I'm literally going to show like every game in this server because you're gonna see how fast we're ending these games i mean i should have probably counted out how many games we did play because there were some games we were ending in like two or three minutes okay because the other team just couldn't hit a four and we were just getting the rebound and throwing it down to a 99 three pointer and getting the game over with in a snap of a finger right so we play this team right here they have like an ai that like quit out so that's kind of a good thing because the ai doesn't really contest you from out on the four point line you see the ai's on cme right here play take sharp take patty mills jump shot he's just gonna shoot right over that on the line and now we load back into another game now for whatever reason i don't think i was checking leaderboards right here but we're gonna it's gonna throw us back into another deep end game and it's just like we gotta lock in right and we get into this game right here and it's got us frozen here wait what do we do right here oh, no, there we go there we go there we go oh my god oh my we should have waited for the last oh my god bro oh my oh my God. nobody can shoot 88 oh my god bro i'm holding my breath on that screen bro like god oh damn bro now that was the same frozen screen that got us two error codes that led to a 30 minute ban in the first server so that's why i was freaking out like holding my breath i'm like yo thank god it put us in the game because that could end us our event right there like that's something that's kind of out of our control and you see we're playing another go tier right here that could affect us negatively and let make us not win this event right so we get out of another couple games right there and i'm in fourth place right now like and the the gap between like first and tenth is starting to grow a little bit because you know obviously the top tier teams are going to grow a bigger lead the more the event goes on so we're starting to grow a little lead on like that sixth place because that's where we what we really want to do i want to get as big as a lead possible in sixth place to kind of give me a cushion to secure that top five because that's all that matters as long as you get top five you get the same rewards as first place right it doesn't matter if you're fifth fourth third second or first you see we're playing a really bad team right here i mean we're letting these dudes shoot anything they couldn't hit a shot it's 20 to zero i'm throwing it right down the cme with that 99 three-pointer and that's great okay we're getting in game super fast still fourth place and we already have like 330,000 my points and we're an hour and eight minutes into this event i mean we're on pace to getting over a mil play the sharp take and that's just going off the right off the backboard and that's green fourth place once again we're kind of really stuck in the fourth place which is fine you know we're not on that fifth place but look at this we're playing a dude with a 91 three-point percentage and a dude with a hundred three-point percentage and a dude with a 62 in their goat tier so we're like okay we got a comp game here okay the second full game we're showing of this server the first one was a ball holder and now we're playing dudes with crazy oh my swags is in the lane that is huge that's good and then i throw it right back Despite my 97 pass, like it doesn't get through. And that 510, yes, that point guard, 510 point guard or something was in that lane. So we're thinking, okay, CME's just gonna be able to shoot over this 510 dude because he probably doesn't have perimeter. Now he has Patty Mills jump shot, but no, he gets a good contest, gets a 9% contested on that. Probably was a little too deep for sure. First shot being contested, but look at, we get this steal. He shoots a wide open shot as the, and he misses. I was about to say, like, getting wide open on the first shot is huge to build green machine, but he missed that shower there. Why is CME missing when it matters, bro? There we go. Okay, he gets the green right there. So now it's four to two, right? We're trying to get a stop. And some of these teams just don't care about the four point bonus thing. They just want to win. So they'll shoot twos, they'll take dunks, they'll take layups. They don't, they'll just ignore the four point line. That's why we kind of force teams to shoot them by leaving them wide open. So it's like, oh, maybe I should shoot the four pointer and then end up missing. But anyways, yeah, so six to four right here. They're taking another two. Eight one accidentally shot another two with that T Mac base, as you saw. He misses. I'm throwing it right down the CME. That's wide open. Y'all already know that is chicken being green. 10 to 4. 
We're back on defense. They shoot another four right here. They miss. I mean, they're not even shooting good. I don't know if they, this team got nervous or something playing me, but they were not making their shots. I mean, 91, 100% shooters shooting from four. And there's maybe some of these shots were too deep for their three point ratings, but they could not make a shot. I hit CME with play take. That's off the backboard. That's another open, even with the Patty Mills jump shot. It's just too overpowered. And that's 18 to six right here. I got five rebounds, three assists, or three rebounds, five assists. We're trying to end the game right here. He took a two, so that's why we only have 18. And look at wide open with the play take and the sharp take. And we're out of that game just like that. I mean, that was supposed to be a comp game, and we got it out of there like that. And now we're playing a bum team. Look at we're up 20 to four. Swags gets the clutch steal. I throw the CME. He's wide open at the four point line, and we're out of another game. So we're trying to, like I said, trying to get out of these games as fast as possible. And I'm fourth place right now. And we gotta keep going. I'm not that much ahead of sixth place. But the faster we end these games, maybe I get up to third, maybe I get up to second, but that cushion needs to grow from sixth place if we want to get in and keep, stay in the race, okay, for top five, because this event is very sought after. People want these jump shot boosts. People want clothing that is going to be rare, like this blue jersey and this blue arm sleeve. The only arm sleeve so far this year that is going to be conclusive to top five or whatever in an event, okay? So... Because a lot of these clothings are participation. This one, they have some clothing that's not participation. So anyways, we get out of another game right there. I'm still fourth place. We're nearly at 500,000. And we're also nearly halfway through the event. Which once again means we're on pace for over a million my points. So we get into another game right here. Another bum game. I'm hitting uh, CME on the throwback pass. He misses wide open to start. It's just like games like this. We can't be missing because it's like they're so bad we can end the game just like that. So we get another fast break because these dudes can't hit a shot. It's just like, yo, CME, you gotta hit these, bro. Like people are on our ass. They're right behind us, bro. They are right behind us. They want to take our spot. But he ended up heating up in this game. We're up 20 to zero. Play take, sharp take, patty mills. Y'all already know how that is, bro. That's just gonna be green. We're looking at the leader. Are we going to look at the leaderboards? I don't know. Sometimes I just wasn't pulling out the leaderboards. We don't look at it right there. We're playing goat tiers. We're playing gold tiers. Flooding this team as well. Because a lot of these, you know, gold goat tiers. Yeah, they're golden goat tiers in the park. Maybe in whatever game mode they play. But not in deep end. Deep end is completely different. The four point line is a huge factor right here. Look at play the sharp tech. He's greening that. And I'm still fourth place. So I've been locked in fourth place. For like at least an over an hour at this point, which is a good and kind of a concerning thing. But look at, we're playing a goat tier team right here. Get into the first play. I'm trying to hit CME for a quick dot. He shoots a shot right there. Doesn't make that even though it was an, I mean, that was open with Patty Mills. I don't know how that was open, but it was open. But they, that dude ended up cherry picking. So we ended up getting a free four. And yeah, we're just trying to hawk. We're trying to get a steal. This dude shoots a terrible shot right there. What is he shooting? Who knows? We throw it right down the CME. He hits a shot right there. So we're already up eight to zero against this GOAT tier lineup. They ended up quitting. You see, they're all jumping at him, but that's an open. I mean, that was wide open, actually. Yo, Patty Mills base is crazy. The whole team's jumping at him, and they say that it's a wide open. I mean, yo, two hours and 15 minutes left to go. And it seems like we've been in this event forever. Like, we've put in so much work. We played so many games. We're getting out of games like that. And we still got two hours and 15 minutes to go to stay in this top five. Like we could easily lose this event still. Play to sharp or sharp play. Yeah, play to sharp take. Get out of that game again. And we're still fourth place with over 500,000 my points. And there's two hours, nine minutes left. We get into another game right here. We're playing more goat and gold tiers, right? So here's another full game we'll show. First play, we hit CME. He makes that. It's an open shot. Gold dimer. We're locked in. Okay, that's a great start to the game. If we can green our first shot, that's huge to build. And look at this. The first play? These dudes must have seen us on top of the leaderboards, and they were holding ball the entire game from the first play. And I'm like, bro, what? Like, what is going on? The set this is the second team that is held ball on this. And yes, this is going to affect. And look at the size of the clutch steal right there. Yes, this is going to affect us. This is wasting hella time. Like We could get finish the game in like two or three minutes. Instead, this game might be double, maybe triple, maybe quad. I mean, it's going to be quadruple the time if CME is shooting shots like that. Now they get another 24 seconds to erase from our timer. And it's just like, oh my gosh, man. We cannot, like, we can't afford wasting time like this. So you see this dude's going to dribble around. He's not looking to score, obviously. They're just 
trying to waste time. They're trying to hold ball. They're not trying to win this game. Another shot clock violation. We're trying to get CME open. He's getting quadruple teamed. Yes, we could hit A1, but CME's trying to win the event too. And he's not going to win the event if he's not shooting the ball, right? So he gets wide open right there and he misses. Like, we need those shots, man. It's just getting frustrating. We're getting rattled. The whole team's jumping at him, but they're dumping way too late. That's a wide open four and we get it. So we're up 12 to two now. And once again, they're going to hold the ball for another 24 seconds. Hey, it is what it is, man. This is just some of the stuff you got to deal with in an event and some of the stuff that you're just going to have to expect in events. I mean, this happens almost every event I get ball held on me. So I'm used to it at this point. It's just an obstacle you're going to have to overcome uh, in events when people see you on the leaderboards. They're just going to do weird stuff like this. That's just how it is. That's how events are. It's how you got to deal with it. Now, 12 to 2 right here. CME gets wide open for and he misses it's like yo okay whatever i wasn't gonna get an assist for that anyways so i guess we'll take it i throw it to him they're in the lanes it goes out of bounds it's like yo like what is going on they're holding ball for another 24 seconds i try to pressure him right here we don't want to reach at them on ball because if we foul them then it resets the clock especially behind the half court line it would reset to a full 24. they're just throwing it around six seconds five seconds four seconds they're just it's crazy bro they are wasting a lot of time i ain't gonna lie so it definitely will affect us negatively y'all know we were in fourth place before this game cme gets us out of there with a mid-range right there like a six percent and look at i did drop to five which doesn't seem like a lot but bro i was fourth place for like an hour and a half and now after that game on fifth so on fifth place i am on the verge of getting out of the top five and not winning at all so right here, 20 to 2. This dude's walking up, shooting a 4. Literally exactly what we want as a defensive team. Play the sharp take, wide open. That's another green. And we were back up to 4. Okay, so we're like, what? 15K ahead of 5th place right there. Uh, he might not be out. Of, I mean, he might be in the middle of the game. He could have been at 20 points right there and then just ended as soon as we got into our game. So you never know how big your cushion is because you don't know what the leaderboards are looking like when you're in a game, right? So we're an hour in fourth place, an hour and 52 left. We're playing another goat tier team right here. Another flood. We're throwing it to 8-1. He's throwing it back to me so I can try to get the assist. I throw the CME, play the shark tag. That's great. We're going crazy. Fourth place right now. We're doing a lot better than last server. At this point in last server, we were like seventh, I think maybe ninth. Uh, but then we got banned pretty soon, like at the hour mark, right? About an hour left in the event. So hopefully we don't get any error kills, okay? Knock on wood. We don't want that happening because that could completely end this attempt altogether, right? So hour and 45 left. We're still fighting, okay? We get into another game. We're playing like, nah, they're bumps, okay? They're, they're casual tiers. They're not good. We're leaving them wide open. They're like dancing around the forward. Probably shot a little too deep. That dude was like an 82 three-pointer, so, or whatever he had. Throwing it right down the CME. That's wide open. That's another four. And we're still in fourth place. And you can see, like, I'm just a little bit behind third. So I could actually catch up the third, maybe get another, some more cushion by sliding into that third spot, which would be nice to see because it is very stressful being in fourth or fifth place. Well, let me tell you what, you gotta, you can't even get into a single long game. You can't lose. You can't make many mistakes, okay? We had another game right there. We're at nearly 700,000 my points. We're about a game behind third. We're also got a good cushion on sixth place at this point. And now we're playing Projo. And that dude is literally on the leaderboards for top 10 at one point. And look at, they cherry picking on us. We're throwing sharp to play take. We beat that team as well. They put up a good fight though. And now we're at 715,000. We're playing another GOAT tier uh, player right here. They're shooting mid ranges. Dudes are missing wide open middies. We're throwing it down. Look at CME waiting out the jump. That was actually really smart right there. He greens that shot right there. And now we're at fourth place still. 738,000 my points. And if you guys remember, that's how many my points I finished in the last server on guard. Well, I did get banned for like 30 minutes and didn't play the last hour because once I got unbanned, I was like, okay, I'm too far away. So that is crazy to think about. But we're about an hour and 27 in. So yeah, I was getting more my points than I was on a 92.3. If I was on a 99.3, I probably would have been a lot more at this point, but we're about like 20 minutes ahead of our first attempt, which is pretty damn good, okay? So once again, fourth place, 775,000 mob points. We're playing another bum team. This dude's name is like Sir Percolata or Lighter Later. I don't know what his name is. They're shooting very early, wide open fours. They have no clue what's going on. That's another four. We're at 817,000. We got an hour left. The time is ticking. We're playing another goats here who walked in with randoms. They're making that shot right there, but it doesn't matter. I got a play take. We're throwing to that sharp take, trying to get out of this game as soon as possible. And this dude's reaching at me. 
and gets a steal. I almost get the steal right back. I mean, obviously, I have no um, ball handle on this build, but he plucks me. I get the rebound right back. Almost didn't get it. It was rolling off the rim. Swags with the clutch off ball screen right there. Gets CME wide open, and that's another four point green right there. Okay, so time is ticking, y'all. We cannot mess up. Even one bad game, one loss, or one game of people holding ball again could completely ruin this entire four hour attempt right here. So right now we're up 20 to zero. This dude gets a decent contest, get like 8% or something, doesn't matter. Green machine going crazy. And look at, we're at, we're, ooh, ooh, it's getting close. Like we're up a game, but I mean, who knows how real, truly far behind that fifth spot is, that sixth spot is, because let's get, if I'm checking boards, what if they're at like 18 points in their other game and then I'm in sixth while I'm in the middle of my game, you know? Like it's basically like a coin flip. Who can end the game the closest to the four hour mark and not, you know, finish in sixth place basically, right? So CME's trolling game point right here. The dude's just shooting anything. So now we got to play another defensive possession. And this time that's being wasted after like a singular miss like that is actually very valuable. Like, look at this dude. He's posting me up. He's taking forever. He's not passing to his teammates. I mean, I'll take the good shot contest. My points. They're both jumping at him. He dodges the jumps, shoots the wide open, and we get out of there, right? We're about to be at a million. I'm like one of the only people in the top five that's not at a million, but we have a very good lead on sixth place. But then we run into another go tier team. So it's like, okay, here we go. We're playing a go tier team. This is another full game I'm going to show. They immediately go in for a dunk. So it's obvious that they don't really care about winning the event. They're just trying to win their games and probably just get their double XP. I hit um, CME and bro. I don't know what was going on with CME, but when we were playing a good team, this dude was not hitting his shots to start the game. I mean, look at it. He goes 0 for 2 on that possession. We're fouling. We're, we're cherry picking. We're not cherry picking. We're not guarding anybody. It's like, what is going on? We're already down 4 to 0. But that's the great thing about the four point line is, hey, one four pointer and boom, it's a tie game just like that. So I'm telling CME, yo, just hit. Tell me when to hit you. He reaches right as he shoots. And that's a 6% somehow. And it's like, okay, that probably should have been an open, but it wasn't open. Then he misses again. It's like, yo, what is going on? We're like 0 for 5 from the four point line right now. We're down 6 to 0. Well, this is not the time to waste time, okay? He reaches, that's an 20, and then he makes the 23. Like, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I genuinely do not get it. Six to four. We get a stop, thankfully, right there. We're not shooting the two. We're taking advantage of our fours because it's just too close. We're at fourth place. We don't want to risk anything. He gets an open shot right there. That's eight to six. And just like that, we got a lead. And then we leave this dude open for four, and he almost made that. I mean, if he made that, we would have been screwed, right? Then we get the wide open fast break. I mean, that's huge. That's a huge miss right there. If he doesn't miss that, we don't get that four. If he makes that, he gets the four. They got a bigger lead. Like, that's a huge turn of events right there. They end up shooting another two because there are no threes in this event. Like I said, see me's like three for six, three for seven right now. I'm throwing it to him. They're jumping at him like crazy. And that's just another four shot. He's got to wait out the jumps. Y'all saw him in other games waiting out the jumps. He's not waiting out the jumps right now, leading him into shooting bad shots right there. That's a decent shot, but that's a seven percent and he's missing shots. So his his momentum's not good right there. We get a steal, but we're out of bounds. 16 to 12. These dudes are shooting minis and thank God that center soul right there. Misses wide open. I have takeover right now and I don't even realize it. I'm throwing it to CME. He's trying to wait out a jump. He's not open. Then gets wide open off the decks. And he makes that shot they got it somehow that was a 20 like how is that dude getting contest he must have had a high perimeter defense 20 to 14 i'm in takeover this should give this should be it right play takeover this game is taking a little too long cme gets wide open thankfully on the last possession and we're finally out of there and somehow i'm still fourth place i don't have as big as a cushion on six that i did before that game started but we're still in fourth i mean that is oh my god thank god okay 24 to 6. We're out of this game now. We're going into another game. I'm still fourth. After this game that we're playing right here with 30 minutes left, I will be at over 1 million. My points. This dude is spamming square on me. See me gets wide open on the pull-up jumper off play take and sharp take. And of course, that's going to be green right behind the four-point line. And look it. I have a decent lead. Y'all can see. But like I said, there's still 30 minutes left. We cannot choke this. I got Mama Mentality takeovers. He's shooting wide open with Shark Tape 99.3. We out of there. Fourth place. We're looking good. It's looking like we're going to win this event. I have a deep, I have a good lead, like a 30, 40K lead. That should be more than enough. That's like two games. I think like the maximum amount of my points you can get in one game 
is maybe like 25k i don't think we can get past that but yeah we flood that team right there and now there's 20 minutes left in the event i have a comfortable lead and at this point i'm, I'm all smiles i'm like okay we should be chilling okay it's looking like we're gonna get this win but anything can happen i've seen some crazy stuff these dudes are flopping they're giving up we win that game get into another or got eight minutes to go we should be able to get what two games maybe three games in if we can get into the event tent before that timer hits zero so look at i mean this was a flood right here this is a super fast game he's shooting from d with play sharp take and heat check right there that's an easy green now there's five minutes left so we finish that game in three minutes we can definitely get two more games in which would be huge that would if we get that second game in after this game that would guarantee our event win so these dudes shoot up four very late we're throwing it down cme shoots that right over him and now there's a minute left oh my god we're up 39k it's looking good you see the timers ticking six five four three two one those my points count for that game right there the event has ended i'm like okay we should have it there is literally no way i didn't win on my second attempt you know we couldn't completed the goal on winning deep end and placing top five on guard but on center it's looking like we did it so i'm checking the leaderboards but this was last event leaderboard so it's showing me a 14 so i'm like okay it's not showing me where i'm at what's going on i back out i'm like yo and hey i get hit with the congratulations thanks for playing deep end. i screenshot that and we won top five 25,000 vc unlimited jump shot boost and of course the blue event jersey and the blue arm sleeves that only five people in each server got in the entire world so the rarest arm sleeve in the game and one of the rarest jerseys in the game so i'm putting on the fit you know what i'm saying putting on the drip that deep ends you know gave your boy after securing the top five and hey i'm looking better with this deep end fit on then i check my boost and look at we finally completed another piece of the puzzle unloaded jump shot all we have left is unloaded blocks we have unlimited gatorade unlimited everything else but hey man if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out y'all peace